This is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on my GoPro. Test one, two, three, one, two, three. I have the powered microphone option enabled within the GoPro. I have high frequency enabled and also the high pass filter is switched on in the 150 hertz range. I'm using plus 20 decibels right now and this is disabled and this is minus 10 decibels enabled. Now I'm gonna switch to the Rode Wireless Go. Hopefully it's not gonna sound much worse than with the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which I'm assuming has the overall better audio quality. Now I've got the Rode Wireless Go attached to my GoPro. In the input settings, I changed from the powered microphone to the standard microphone option. The receiver is sitting on top of the hot shoe mount and is attached to the uh, GoPro audio adapter via TRS cable. The transmitter, which is right now in my pocket, has got the lav mic attached, which I have, I'm hoping, safely secured. So it's not making any uh, noise, it's not moving around. I'm gonna change the gain level on the receiver unit now. So this is the lowest gain level on the receiver. This is the medium setting. You can hear the difference, I'm sure. And this is the highest. Well, I think I'm gonna just switch to the medium and see how it goes. Mainly gonna be using the Rode Wireless Go because of its compact size and also because I'll be moving away from the GoPro from time to time. I just wanna set it up, you know, on a small tripod and just move around. But the Video Mic Pro Plus, I believe, will have a better audio quality. If you are vlogging mainly and um, you're not gonna be moving away from the camera that much, I can definitely recommend the Video Mic Pro Plus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found some pieces of information useful. If you did, then please consider subscribing, hit the like button and leave a comment down below if you have any type of feedback. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Peace.